My arch nemesis has returned to the screen. <laughs> Steve, you're my barometer here, man. You know, like every time you come on, I'm like, okay, let's see what Steve got to, what's he got to give me? Let's see. Uh, I'll start by saying I had a fucking blast with this. I really, I really did. It was exactly what I wanted. Um, so I, I give it thumbs up. Awesome. I really do. Okay, cool. Do you yeah, know that um, you're the only one that matters to me, right? That's it. I've been waiting actually, for this interview that, that, for weeks to know what's up. No, uh, listen, I, I honestly, I, I didn't get to see it at South by at the premiere, but I would imagine that would have been a, a, a great crowd for this one. Uh, you know what I mean? But anyway, yes. listen, I only have so many minutes. Yeah, go, go, I, go. I, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, feel free to give me the extra. Uh, so the most important question up front, uh, and I want you to be honest with this. Okay. If Patrick Swayze's Dalton and your Dalton were to get in a real fight, <laughs> Who wins? Well, we all know that size doesn't matter, right? From that, from that movie, right? That is a line from the movie, the original movie, right? Steve, you remember that line, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. okay good. I remember. Okay. Um, well, he'd certainly dance the shit out of it, so I couldn't. I couldn't win there. Um, I think due to technology and the advancements in technology, I'm gonna say that I think that Dal my Dalton would win. But if we were face to face in the 80s, I'd give it to Patrick. Right, so it depends on the decade. And by the, it depends on the decade, and I would just say, no one ever wins a fight, Steve. <laughs> sure, one, listen, one of the things about this is, this is a very, you have a lot of action in this, and no matter how safe you are, it's still a, a dance, you know, when you're doing action. So how many times did you actually get hit in the face? Ah, um, I mean, a good number. I wasn't counting. I think that'd be odd. But I, <laughs> but, but I definitely got hit in the face and all over the place. I mean, I think I took more you know, hits to the body and kicks to the body. And when I did this film Southpaw, I was just taking hits to the body like punches. Now I'm taking kicks, hits, getting choked out. I mean, MMA is a whole other game. So... Um, I would say the most, the hardest thing for me, and the thing that I got most, most injured at was some of the like throwing, grappling stunts that we did. I mean, I got thrown over the bar by Connor, like into like, you know, I'm always like, can we get the really thick pad? And they're like, you'll be fine. And I'm like, just, you know, I got thrown over the bar many, many times in this. That's where I really sustained the injuries you're asking about. Yeah, listen, there is not any amount of money that could get me in a fight scene with Connor because <laughs> all you need is for him to just like flip it on in any moment and you're done. It's yeah. over. Yeah, that's and I think that that allows for a level of respect, you know, um, and I think vice versa. You know, we had that, uh, you know, because I could really act him out of the room. You know what I mean? Um, no, I, I, I think that there was a a real respect back and forth for that. I am a, he said to me, I'm a white belt in, in the movie game and in acting and I'm here to learn. And I said, I'm here to learn from you. I'm a white belt in the fight game. I'm here to learn. So as much as you're right, you know, it, the, the switch could go. I think he has such a respect for film, for movies, for the process of movies. He definitely showed that on set. Um, and, and I think I always felt, weirdly, I know this may sound strange, but a professional fighter has a real gauge of distance in a way that a lot of nobody else does, you know? And so I, sometimes I felt safer knowing that he could judge. Uh, but I did have to remind him take after take. And I did have to say, remember, we're like, we're rolling. And I'd say, remember, don't actually punch me in the face. And occasionally he'd go, oh, oh, right, right, right. And that kind of like, oh, I almost forgot moment definitely cause for concern. Nope. <laughs> Everything about this is why, no. Um, so is this the kind of role, say it's a big hit on Prime Video, is this the kind of role that you'd like to revisit? Because Patrick actually, you know, he never made a sequel, mm. but is this the kind of thing that you would like to do again? I would love to. I love the role. I love the character. I think he's a, I love his humor. I love where he could go. Um, I, the first thing I ever read in the script was, um, 
the scene where he asks about insurance, if they have insurance, asks if their bikes are outside. And I just, the essence of that character is there. And there's so much to, to explore, more to explore in that space. Um, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna look forward to the training, but the role, yes. I do yeah. like the training, but you know, it's that's just me. I know, I know. Uh, hey, listen, man, uh, have fun with Guy Ritchie. Uh, I'm talking to him later this week. Oh, and, send him uh, you know, I will. And congrats on this for real. Thank you, man. Thanks, Steve. Nice to see you.